Hello students. Uh, today we will start with the chapter one, and uh, we have seen the application of Gauss's law last time. We have found the electric field due to infinitely long, uniformly charged wire. Now we are going to find out the electric field due to in uniformly charged and infinite plane sheet. Again, I am saying we are going to find out the electric field due to in uniformly charged infinite plane sheet here you understand there is a plane sheet and that plane sheet is having the uniform charge density and that uniform charge density is known as sigma sigma is known as charge per unit area and that is constant and it is infinite infinitely plane sheet now here you can see this is a small portion this is a small portion of the plane sheet which is uniformly charged and this uniformly charged plane sheet is producing electric field and that electric field we want to find out. Suppose we want to find out the electric field at a point P. As shown in figure we want to find out the electric field at a point P which is situated the P point which is situated at R distance from the plane sheet from the plane sheet it is at r distance now when you are going to apply the gauss law you have to have some kind of symmetry now p point is at r distance from the plane sheet p point is at r distance from the plane sheet so we are having another point p dash which is also at r distance on the other side of the plane sheet we can see you can see this is p point and this is p dash point the p point is at r distance from the plane sheet and p dash point is also at r distance from the plane sheet but it is on other side now the distance is same the distance from the plane sheet to the point p is same and the distance from the p dash point to plane sheet is same distance is same then electric field will be what if distance is same then electric field will be constant means if p point and p dash point are lying at the same distance from the plane sheet and if it is a same distance then you can say the electric field at p point and p dash point would be same and that is why that is uh, we will have the some kind of symmetry you can have the q point you can take q point here similarly we are having another point q dash now q point and q dash point is also at the same distance and if it is at same distance then electric field point electric field at q point and q dash point is also same you can have infinite point here and similarly we correspondingly we are having another point here where you will have the same electric field and that's the way we are and that's the way we are having the symmetry of the points around the plane sheet here we are having the uh, sigma is a surface charge density of the plane sheet now we are going to consider the closed cylindrical gaussian surface having the cross section area a and equal length on either side of the plane sheet student there is no cylinder around the plane sheet but because of this kind of symmetry we will imagine we will imagine that there is a one there is a one cylinder on this side and other cylinder is on other side and that kind of cylinder we are considering on both side of the plane sheet we are going to apply the gauss law for this closed cylinder now charge enclosed by the closed cylinder q is equal to sigma a sigma is surface charge density and surface charge density is a charge upon area charge per unit area now here this cylinder which is extended on both side of the plane sheet and and this cylinder is enclosing some charge q and that q is equal to sigma a that much of charge enclosed by the cylinder now we are going to find out the flux link with the curved surface you can see this is the curved surface 
and for this curved surface the area vector is in upward direction and the electric field produced by this uh, plane sheet it is on the uh, perpendicular direction and you can see the angle between electric field and the area vector is 90 degree now here when you write this formula phi 1 phi 1 is nothing but the integration of e dot da and the dot product is there the it will be written as e da cos 90 where the you can see the angle between electric field and the area vector is 90 degree and you know the cos 90 is 0 so flux 1 phi 1 will be equal to 0 the flux linked to the curved surface of cylinder is equal to 0 now we want to write down the flux link at the end of the cylinder here where you find the symmetry at the end of the cylinder at p point and you can see the electric field and the area vector in the same direction and if they are in the same direction what will be the angle the electric field and the area vector in the same direction the angle between them is zero and you can see the the flux link at p point is equal to e dot da the angle between them is zero that it will be e da cos zero and cos zero is one and you know the electric field at all cross section area is constant and if it is constant then it will be outside of the integration and it is outside of the integration there will be the integration of da the integration of all area element the integration of all area element will give the total area total cross section area will be e into a so flux link to the end of the cylinder at point p is e into a now see the flux link at the p dash point you can see the electric field and the vector of area element in the same direction this is the electric field produced by the plane sheet and this is the area vector you can see they are in the same direction the angle is zero and similarly we can write the flux link at a p point p dash point is phi p dash which is also equal to ea just like the p point we are getting ea at p dash point we are getting ea now you can over overall you can see the flux link at the curved surface zero the flux link at uh, this end point is ea and the flux link to this end point is ea the total flux you can see the total flux is given by phi 1 plus phi p plus phi p dash which is 0 plus ea plus ea it will be 2 ea the total flux is 2 ea as per gauss's law flux link to any closed surface is equal to net charge enclosed by the surface to the epsilon naught now you, are, you can see the total flux link to the surface cylindrical surface is 2 ea and net charge enclosed by the surface q divided by epsilon naught and now we know the q is can be written as sigma a this is a area so this will be also a area so we can write the q is equal to sigma a sigma is a charge divided by area so we can write q is equal to sigma a now you can uh, cancel out area a and the e is equal to sigma by 2 epsilon naught in vector form e vector is equal to sigma by 2 epsilon naught into n cap where n cap is a unit vector in the direction of electric field this is the electric field which is produced by infi uniformly charged infinite plane sheet and this is the equation we every time use thank you